Alright, this is the second example video that, I've, uh, that I'm making. And for this, we're going to take a function here defined by the sigma t notation. And we have to find this in the form of a one gate circuit. So we'll have to draw the circuit. And then we'll have to do a two level NAND implementation for our simplified Boolean expression. So let's get started. So um, first, we're going to do our K map. Uh, so we have three variables. So we'll have this y z. Three variables, two to the power of three is eight, so we have eight squares. Zero zero, zero one, one one, one zero. If you have no idea what I'm doing, please watch my K maps video. Okay, so now let's put some labels just to understand things a bit better here. So zero one three two uh, four five seven six remember because the bits are inverted on the last two okay so now we have spot zero spot zero we'll have a one because this is a sigma so this means that we're doing sum of products so we have a one in spot zero we have a one in spot two we have a one in spot five and we have a one in spot seven Okay, so where are our groups going to be? That's the big question. So I can tell right away that we'll have red group here at the bottom. And then we'll have green group going from side to side. Like that. So the way that this was taught in class is a lot different from the way that I do it. I prefer doing it like this. So we have group red. It's going a bit longer just because I'm explaining it and going through all the steps, but if you're just doing this yourself, you can usually do it pretty fast. So in group red, we have... Oops, I forgot to put down zeros here. In group red, we have 101 and 111. And then in group green, we have 000 and we have 010. So now we check out which values stay the same. So 1 and 1, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Which means that we will end up with x, z, or not x, not z. Alright, so right off the bat, what does this look like to you guys? This, is, this makes a super, super easy when you have a set of terms here that is ORed with the opposite set of terms, the exact opposite set of terms on the other side, then it's a ZOR. It's a exclusive OR. So just to repeat, we have regular X and Z here, and then we have inverse X and inverse Z here. We OR them. So on this side, we have normal x and z, and on this side, we have a perfect inverse of x and z, which means that this whole thing can just be um, can just be uh, rewritten as x exclusive or z with a bar on top. Okay, so that means that we can write the circuit as x, y, and we'll have our ZOR here. And since, oh god, I hate this. Since it's not, stop it. I just want to draw my circle. There we go. Okay, so since we have um, not uh, like an inverse exclusive OR, then we have the little dot here, the little inverter. So then we can toss our x in there, toss our y in there and our function will come out. B is also pretty easy. Um, so we take... Here, let's do a green highlighter. We take our function here, and we just write it out exactly how it is. So we have x and z, and we have not x, and we have not z, and the whole thing is just ORed and F gets pumped out. So um, I have a video on um, implementation, NAND gate and NOR gate implementation, so please watch that if you have no idea what I'm doing. So 
Now we're going to toss our inverters in, so then we'll end up with an inverter here, an inverter here. This is our x, y, this is our not x, this is our not y. Toss those in. And then since all of our inputs to the OR are inversed, we end up with another NAND gate. So these are our answers. That's for A. That's for B. So I hope that helps. Stay tuned for more example videos potentially, and happy studying.